Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Dizon. I'm very excited to talk to you cello players. Um, I have a new song for you for week 30. It's number 32 in your book. Um, if you don't have your book, um, you can look online for a copy. I don't have a cello copy myself, so if you're a cello player who has um, your cello book and a good camera that you could send me a copy, um, I would really appreciate that. Um, uh, yeah, because I don't have a cello book at home. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but uh, if you do have your book, it's number 32. It's on page 11. And the reason I really like this song, um, first off, it's a scale. And scales are really important parts of playing our music. Um, they just come up in a lot of songs. And I really like this scale, the D scale, because it, um, it has two lines to it. And I really like that the first line is all on the D string. And the second line is all on the A string. It kind of splits up halfway like that. So the first line of the song is all on the D string. You're going to put your fingers on the D string. And the second line is all on the A string. The next reason I really like the D scale is because it has the same finger pattern on both strings. Both strings go zero, then one, then three, then four. They do the same thing. Zero, one, Just does the same thing twice. D, E, F sharp, G, open A, one on A is B, three C sharp, high D is four. So let's try that um, a little bit slower, just the D string part of the D scale. Some of you might be thinking, D scale, D string, what's the difference? The D scale has eight notes, the D string has four notes. So that means that the D string makes up half of the D scale. So let's work on the first half of the D scale, the part of the D scale that's on the D string. In number 32, there are three of each note. So you're going to do three Ds in a row and then a rest. Three E's in a row and then a rest. So let's try that together. Line one of 32, three of each note on the D string. Ready, D. D, 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 rest. Get your E ready. Get your F sharp ready. Go. F sharp. F sharp. F sharp. Rest. Get your G ready. G. 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 Rest. And that's the first half of the D scale. Let's do it again, but with a, a, a little fewer clues on my part. So we're doing the first half of the D scale. We're doing the first line of 32. Ready. Three of each. D. Now E. Rest F sharp. Rest G. Rest. Now this is uh, the second line of 32, or the second half of the D scale. It's not very hard. It's really similar to the first half, but you have to change to the A string. You have to move your plucking finger to the A string, and you have to get your fingers ready above the A string. It starts on zero, just like the first half did, um, but you have to be on the A string. So here's the second half of the D scale, or the second line of 32. <laughs> first is open A's, three open A's. Ready, open A. A, 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 rest. Get one finger is B, B, B. Rest three fingers, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, rest four fingers, high D, high D, high D, rest. You don't have to call that note high D, you can just call it D. I like to call it high D because it kind of separates it in my mind from open D to high D. Let's play all of 32. So the first line of 32, the first half of the D scale, is all on the D string. The second half of 32, the second half of the D scale, is all on the A string. On both lines, you're going to go 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. And then you're going to do it again. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4. But a little slower. 32, 1, and 2. Start on the D string with D. Rest E is 1. 
rest F sharp is three. Rest G is four. Rest on the A string. A, open A, open A, rest. One is B, 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 B. Rest three is C sharp. Rest high D is four. Rest. And that's your D scale. You went from open D to high D because it's the D scale and it takes up eight notes. I hope that was helpful. Um, if you want my help with anything on your cello, um, I can see if I can help. I'm available um, from 1 to 2.30. Um, you can send me an email. You can send message me on Blackboard. You can mess message me on my Google Classroom, um, and I can try to help you. Um, there are some things I won't necessarily be able to help you with because we're not in the same space right now, but I will do my best, and we will try to come up with the best solution possible to help you still play your cello and look out for um, some YouTube videos that you can watch that I think we might be interested in, um, as well as just different things you can do um, at home to explore music. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye.